Hello, we're going to be looking at the area of triangles today. And the lesson objective is to be able to find the area of triangles. The keywords are triangle, trapezium, parallelogram, which are different types of shapes, and the perpendicular height. This is a keyword which I'll be explaining to you a bit later on. The most important thing you need to remember is when you find the area of a triangle, you have to remember the formula which is going to be base times height divided by 2. And I prefer writing it like this, B for base times H for height and just divide that by 2. An important thing we need to remember is a triangle has the half of the area of a square or a rectangle that's why it's divided by two say for example if i look at this shape here if i say to you can you work out the area of this shape and if i say this shape is going to be the rectangle so if i highlight the rectangle up here so this is the rectangle if i say to me can we just highlight that rectangle and the area of that rectangle is going to be five times six which equals 30. Now, if I now say to you, can you just work out the area of this triangle up here, the one I'm just shading up there? Now, we know it's going to be half of the rectangle. So, base times height divided by 2. So, in other words, base times height. So, base is going to be 6 times 5. Divide all of that by 2. So, 6 times 5 is 30, like we said earlier on. Divided by 2, and that's going to be... 15 centimeters squared. Please remember the squared sign. So that's the answer for this triangle here. For this triangle, it's going to be exactly the same thing. You have to remember base times height divided by 2. So in other words, the base is 3. The base is B for base for the bottom one. It's going to be 3. The height is 8. And we have to divide that by 2. So 3 times 8, we know it's 24 divided by 2 which is going to be 12 centimetres squared. So please make sure we put the squared sign on there. Now, we've got something called the perpendicular height. You have to remember the, what this means up here. So perpendicular height is when it joins at a right angle up here. So we've got 8 times 6, again, base times height, base times height, divided by 2. In other words, 8 times 6, 8 times 6, divide that by 2, which is going to be 48 divided by 2. And my answer to that one is going to be 24 centimetres squared. I want you to pause the video and work out the area of this shape up here for me, please. Right. What you should have got is base times height divided by 2, 6 times 3 divided by 2, and you should have got 9 get centimetres squared, which is extremely important. We're talking about a perpendicular height, and that joins at a right angle here, so these questions are slightly more confusing, because we still have to remember the formula to work out the area of a triangle is going to be base times height divided by 2. Now, in this case, perpendicular height means where it joins at a right angle. Now, you've got a 4 centimetres, which we can use, and then you've got 5 centimetres and 3 centimetres. Now, we have to remember which one of these joins at 90 degrees. So, if you look at this here, does this 5 centimetres here join at 90 degrees? We know it doesn't. Perpendicular height means where it joins at 90 degrees. This one here, we can see from here, joins at a right angle up there. So all I'm going to be using is this number here, 4 centimetres, and this number here, which is 3 centimetres. So in other words, 4 times 3 divided by 2 equals 6 centimetres squared. I want you to pause the video and have a go at this question here for me, please. Right, one of the things you should have noticed, again, like our previous question, you've got three numbers here. You've got three for me, three meters, four meters, and 200 centimeters. Now, what I want to 
to do is just use one of the units. I know 200 centimeters is the same as two meters. So I'm going to cross that out and write here two meters. Now, we've got three numbers here. We need to eliminate one of the numbers. We need to see which one joins at a right angle. So we need to work out the perpendicular height. So base times is going to be the perpendicular height divided by two. And I can quite comfortably say this is the base, four meters there. I want to see which number, three meters or two meters, um, goes at a right angle. So if I look at this here, does that go as a right angle? I know it doesn't go at a right angle. Doesn't meet at a right angle, so I can't use that one. This one, however, does. So I can get a right angle out of this. So I know it's going to be four times two divided by two. And your answer for this one is going to be four meters squared. You will get some sort of questions very similar to this. What they will say to you is, can you work out the area of the shaded region? Now, the shaded region is the one that's the darker one. So, for example, I know this is a triangle up here. So, if I sort of highlight this, this shape here, I know is a triangle. And we all know the formula to work out the, the, formula to work out the area of a triangle is going to be base times height divided by 2, as long as you can identify the triangle. The base is going to be this one here. If that's 10 centimetres, the bottom is going to be 10 centimetres as well. So that would be 10 centimetres as well. So in other words, 10 times 4, which is the height, 4 centimetres, that would be the height there. And your answer should be 40. And then don't forget to divide that by 2, um, which leaves us with 20 centimeters squared. Can you pause the video and have a go at this question for me please? Right, again we're looking at the shaded region and the shaded region, if I join that together, hopefully we should identify a triangle up here. So again we need to look at the base times height divided by 2. Uh, that's going to be 10, centi 10 centimetres at the top. I know the bottom is going to be 10 centimetres as well. So in other words, 10 centimetres is the base. The height is 10 centimetres, which is this one here. And we need to divide that by 2. So 10 times 10 divided by 2, we should have 50. And uh, please make sure you use the correct units, centimetres squared. We've got some questions for you to do up here. What I want you to do is I want you to work out any three questions on the red, any three questions on the amber, and the green section. So any questions that you do, when you work out the questions, can you write the, um, write the number of the question, please? And then from there, we, um, make sure you take a picture of your answers and upload it onto class charts. Thank you very much for watching the video.